Hey guys, so today we are working on penciling and inking this Christmas card illustration. These blue lines have been printed on Cheap Joe's Kilimanjaro paper. This is a 300 pound watercolor paper, so it's pretty sturdy. And you guys can check out my printing your blue lines on watercolor paper video by clicking here. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to draw in the boundaries for this illustration using an HB mechanical pencil and a clear ruler. I'm just going to go along all four edges. All right, now that all four edges have borders on them, I am going to grab a scrap sheet of paper and this is gonna help protect the paper we're penciling from accumulating too much grease. And I'm working with clean hands. I just washed my hands and I am gonna ink this so I don't actually have to work too tight, but I definitely want to redraw a few things that didn't really turn out the way I wanted them to when I was working digitally. And I'm using a harder lead because this is going to be easier to erase cleanly from the paper after I've inked this. So I'll go ahead and pencil this in time lapse. Okay guys, so I've pretty much penciled in everything that I wanted to correct. So I'm going to use two waterproof pens. We've got the Sakura of America Pigma FB and then the Sailor Mitsuo Ida. And we're going to start by, actually I don't want to ink the border because I might end up erasing it if I don't need it. So we're still going to use this to protect the paper from our hands. And get nice and zoomed in there. And you don't have to do all your penciling at one stage. If you want to go back and forth, if you see things that bother you, that you want to amend or correct, you can go back and forth between penciling and inking. It's really whatever works best for you. So in time lapse, I am going to pencil and ink this illustration. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for a inking tutorial, you can click this video here, or rather this card here, and I'll take you to my advanced inking techniques playlist where there are loads of inking videos and inking tutorials to help you guys get going.
right, so I have finished inking this illustration. I'm going to let this dry overnight before I erase anything. And when I do, I'm gonna use a white stroke, which is a very gentle white vinyl eraser. I am gonna see you guys hopefully in our next video where we work on painting this. I think since we're using 300 pound watercolor paper, I'm gonna try and skip stretching it, but we'll see. Now, see, I usually rely on the stretching step, step to melt the blue lines. These are printed with a dye-based ink. So when you add water on top of them, it basically reactivates it and um, they dissolve and kind of blend away. You can wash them off. And if I don't stretch it, then I'm not gonna have that option. So maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, but with heavy paper like that, I could skip that step. So I will see you guys in our next video where we start painting. Bye guys.